Well, folks, um, we're getting the bums rush, but holy mackerel, I think I see Patrick Brown himself. David Manzi with Rebel News. You're in a city facility? Yeah, so are yeah. you. Yeah. So, are you yeah. playing hockey here? Or? No, I'm just coming to check in our facility. You're not supposed to be here, actually. Okay. Are these taxpayer dollars being used for your buddies to play hockey on this rink? Why is it one law for me and one law for thee in this city? Mr. Brown? So when they ask you to leave, they've actually, they're acting as agents for the building, right? Why don't you phone bylaw? You're the professional snitches for bylaw. We've covered that already. We're trespassing off the city, city facilities and recreation centers for the next year. Officer, is, is this correct that we're being told we can't come to Brampton Recreation Facilities for the next year? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Brampton, Ontario. And folks, before I get to our story, and wow, what a story. If you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. If you're able to, make a donation, because the fact of the matter is there are forces afoot that want to shut us down, sometimes with violence if need be, and that means we need bodyguards to protect our reporters and cameramen. Well, folks, I'm back in the city of Brampton, Ontario, AKA the city where fun goes to die. And folks, we were tipped off by a viewer that you may recall, we did a report earlier that the baseball diamonds and the soccer fields are open in Brampton, but guess what? The kids need permits to go play uh, baseball and soccer and cricket and what have you. Oh, did I say play? Scratch that. Practice. Yeah, only practices are allowed here in Brampton. You can actually play a game. But will you hear what this viewer had to tell us? Hello, I was tipped off by staff. As all of our recreation and community centers are shut down, Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown made the staff at Earnscliff Recreation Center reinstall the ice in one of its ice rinks so him and his associate can go there every Wednesday and practice his skating at 5 p.m. like clockwork. Of course, he doesn't carry his hockey gear in with him. He has his associate do it. So many people have paid a yearly membership but cannot go in due to COVID. However, at approximately $1,000 a day to sustain an ice rink, he, meaning Patrick Brown, can go once a week for an hour. Well, folks, I can tell you just when we arrived, we indeed saw a player carrying two hockey bags and four hockey sticks. So obviously he's carrying some gear for another person. And it's um, spectacular because if this is indeed the truth that Patrick Brown on the sly, kind of like running a speakeasy during prohibition serving alcohol, if he's got a rink going here for him and his buddies to practice and or play hockey, well, it's kind of like a little bit of hypocrisy. Talk about going offside in terms of one law for me and one law for thee. So we're just going to walk in to these twin rinks and see what the situation is to see if A, the ice is in place, B, if the people on the ice are practicing as opposed to playing, and C, we're gonna see if Mayor Patrick Brown is gonna dare show his face at this city facility being paid for by, oh, I don't know, maybe you, the taxpayer? Let's go check it out. Hi, sir, do you know where Patrick Brown might be? Yeah, he hasn't showed up yet. Oh, okay. He does play here, though, right? He does. Oh, okay. Then that that confirms it. The operator of the building. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can't have people just randomly coming in here. Oh, why is that? I see a whole bunch of hockey players playing a game, sir. Rented the ice. Well, folks, um, we're getting the bums rush, but holy mackerel! I think I see Patrick Brown himself. Oh, hey, how you doing, Mr. Brown? Right. David Manzi with Rebel News. You're in, a, you're in a city facility? What's that? You're in a city facility? Yeah, so are yeah. you. Yeah. So, are you yeah. playing hockey here? Or? No, I'm just coming to check in our facility. So okay, I'm gonna, we're yes, gonna yeah. check you. You're, you're not supposed to be here, actually. Okay. We were told that uh, you play pickup here. Mr. Brown, how come uh, the kids in Brampton can only practice sports, but your buddies can play hockey? Yeah, so 
Um, I don't know why um, you are harassing people in the city of Brampton, but you shouldn't be. Oh, oh who's harassing who? Your, you, your, your guy handed out 122 bylaw violations in one week. Mr. Brown, why is there a hockey game going on in this arena? I thought you're only allowed to uh, practice sports, not play them. And who is paying the $1,000 a day, Mr. Brown, for this rink? Mr. Brown, are these taxpayer dollars being used for your buddies to play hockey on this rink? Or are you paying it? Or perhaps we'll lead Solomon. So Mr. Brown, why is it one law for me and one law for thee in this city? Mr. Brown? So, uh, you know what? Patrick Brown just left and he didn't have a mask either, sir. I don't know. I don't, I'm just the operator. I don't know who's coming on the ice. Well, he, guys, come on. he's the chief. Okay, he's, I get it. Come on, let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm not leaving, sir. This is a taxpayer-funded facility. I, I have every right as a taxpayer to be here, sir. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. Well, you are giving me a hard time. Well, I am, I'm trying to find out why kids can't play soccer or baseball or cricket. They can only practice. And the Mayor Patrick Brown's friends are playing a full hockey game here. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't. Okay, then. So if you eject us, you have to eject them. Fair enough. Phone the police. You just saw we did encounter Patrick Brown. A Patrick Brown not wearing a... Um, a mask, by the way, as we were told to do by the rink attendant. And I ask you, does this look like a practice or a hockey game? Well, I've played hockey most of my life, folks. That's a game. Hey, nice save, by the way. That is no practice. I don't see little orange pine cones uh, on the ice and players aren't doing figure eight drills and uh, passing the puck around. But um, this is an absolute outrage that... Patrick Brown has got the ice sheet on here, uh, on the sly, and he's breaking the rules of playing as opposed to practicing. Of course, he never got a chance to get his equipment on. He scurried away with this assistant. And I'm wondering what bag is his, because like I said, we did see two bags being, oh, won't, don't, look at that. Wearing double zero, Patrick Brown. You know what? Um, technically, it's circumstantial evidence. <laughs> there might be another Patrick Brown um, <laughs> with uh, playing in this she uh, ice sheet that is not the mayor of Brampton. But I don't know. I think that's the smoking gun. This is Patrick's gear, and he had every intention to play hockey here at this rink. Well, you know what? It's been a long lockout. Uh, you can't get into Scotiabank Arena or the Edmonton rink to watch the NHL game. So I'm just going to watch a little good old old-time hockey. And, uh, well, at least until the police show up. And then they're going to charge us with what? Doing what they're doing? Congregating illegally? <laughs> Fat chance. Let's see what happens. What's that? No, no, I was just looking at... I was just looking at Mayor Brown's bag. How, how come he's not here? We're just, uh, we just wanted to talk to uh, Patrick Brown, sir, about... What's that? Well, how come you guys are playing here and the kids can't play uh, baseball or soccer? They can only practice. No answer. Uh, my name is David Menzies, sir. I'm with Rebel News and I'm just here to find out um, why these fellows here are playing hockey. I understand the rule in Brampton is you can only practice sports, you can't play it. So why is Mayor Patrick Brown, uh, that's his equipment there in the orange Wayne Gretzky bag, um, why is Mayor Patrick Brown uh, playing hockey with his pals and the kids in Brampton cannot? Right, can we first go outside and talk? I'd rather do it here actually. No, we, we can't be recording over here without a permit. 
Well, I'll, I'll take my. Well, the funny thing is, they can't play a game, and they're breaking that rule. So, why don't you phone bylaw? Because I know that's what you fellas do. You, you're the, you're the professional snitches for bylaw. We've covered that already, and have each one of these people issued an $880 ticket. Well, can you, can we please go aside first? No, I'm not going, sir. I, I'm saying here, evidently the police are coming and uh, I want to ask them the same questions. Hi, officer. How are you doing there? Good. My name's David Menzies with Rebel News. And, um, I shake your hand, but that's probably... I understand. We'll, do, we'll appropriate Japanese culture and uh, do that. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm here, sir, is that we were tipped off by someone at the city that Mayor Patrick Brown and... That's his hockey bag right over there, the orange one with the words Patrick Brown double zero on it. Okay. He's got this little skate going for his, him and his buddies. Uh, the bylaw in Brampton, as we reported previously, is you're only allowed to practice sports, not play them. And I'm just wondering why apparently it looks like it's one law for thee and one law for me. It looks like Patrick Brown and his buddies are allowed to play a game of hockey, whereas Baseball players, soccer players, cricket players, they can only practice. So can you explain that to me, sir? So, I am just got here because I'm getting called because you're in a facility and they're asked, they've asked you to leave and you haven't left. So that's what I'm here to deal with right now. I just I have no idea what's going on here, who's playing or what's going on with that. Um, if you would like to, I could talk to you further outside. That way I can kind of get this part of it out of the road. Oh, okay then. I respect your wishes, officer. I, I was, we were hanging around just to speak to these hockey players see who they are and why they're basically breaking the law. So I don't know anything about that. I got a sergeant on route too. She's outside. If you want to come talk more outside, we can do that. So right now, from what I understand, talking to staff, the, the facility is actually closed until it's, in, unless it's by appointment. Okay. So it sounds like they've made an appointment for that ice time. Okay. Right? So that was exclusive to them and then them trying to limit the amount of people in the building. Hence why everything else is locked and this is the only entry in and okay. out. So when they ask you to leave, they've actually, they're acting as agents for the building, right? So if, if they ask you to leave, you have to. If you refuse to, then it becomes an issue. But from when it, what I can see right now, you're being cooperative and you're willing yes, to, sir. to leave with me. I can talk more to you. Oh, certainly, sir. I, I, I'm just wondering, like, as you said, the facility is closed to the public, so why is well, Mayor no, sorry, Patrick... It's by appointment. By appointment That's only. That's what I've been told. Okay. Like okay. I said, I'm just getting here. I literally just got here. Hey, guys, you really gave 110% out there. Say, um, how come Patrick Brown has this cozy arrangement for him and his buddies to play hockey? How about yourself, sir? Hey guys. No comment. Oh, we can't be on the parking lot? Oh, okay. Okay, I thought the parking lot. Oh, for one year? A verbal trespass notice. A verbal trespass notice. What is that? A verbal trespass? Trespass from all facilities, city facilities and operations centers for the next year. So, what we were just told um, by the Paladin security guards is that we're being given a trespass notice and we are not allowed to be on any Brampton recreational property for one year. This is for you for to be on the city's property. This is for Rebel News as well. Those tickets banning me and all my Rebel colleagues from visiting Brampton Recreational Facilities for one year. Is this really a legitimate thing? Well, I reached out to our lawyer for clarification. Here's what he had to say. I don't understand under what authority. I don't understand who gave it to you. I don't understand what laws you were breaking. Uh, it didn't appear to me that you were trespassing it in any uh, in any way, and certainly uh, not in any way more than the rest of the folks, including Mayor Brown. And so I, I, I don't think that these are worth the paper they're written on. I don't think they're enforceable, and uh, I just don't think they're valid. Secondly, Aaron, from what you saw on the video, did you witness Mayor Brown doing anything illegal or illicit? Well, what we see here is a, a number of issues with with uh, Mayor Brown's conduct. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, it, it doesn't appear that he has any right under the provincial or the Brampton city bylaws 
to be in an indoor recreational facility in an ad hoc manner like he has been over the course of the pandemic with his buddies holding a shinny game. And I, I, I nowhere uh, in the bylaws is, is this allowed. And in fact, it appears to be a pretty clear violation. The other violation appears to be um, one that is so important to Mayor Brown. It's the face masks. And the, the uh, bylaws are pretty clear in Brampton that you need to be wearing a face mask when you're in an indoor facility. And yet he's not wearing one. You are. He's not. And so I think that that's also a potential violation by Mayor Brown and one that, in my view, he should be ashamed of in light of the public stance that he's taken and being so aggressive against the people of Brampton. Indeed, I think that mask bylaw dates back till uh, July 10th, almost a month. So clearly one rule for thee, one rule for me. Last question, Aaron. I understand you've drafted a letter to the city of Brampton. What is that all about, my friend? Well, you know, we share Mayor Brown's concern about public safety in the city of Brampton. <laughs> and, of course, Mayor Brown is concerned about it, and we at Rebel are concerned about it. So, uh, Rebel uh, and, and yourself, we've written a letter to bylaw enforcement, a report, a report of Mayor Brown's violation, his non-compliance with the provincial orders, the Ontario legislation, as well as his own city bylaws uh, in respect of the COVID-19 pandemic. That social distancing, that is complying with uh, the, the, uh, the requirements with respect to which facilities you can be in, and that would include recreational indoor facilities, and as well the mask bylaw, which he has been particularly aggressive about. Look, if Mayor Brown wants to take a, uh, a tough stance and he wants to throw the book at, uh, at, at the people of, of Brampton who are, who are simply trying to get through this pandemic, uh, then I think that he should be held accountable just like anybody else. We're a country of laws, not a country of men. And as a result, he should be held accountable to the same standards that he's holding everyone else to. We've asked for an immediate investigation, for an inspection to occur immediately, and for all enforcement steps be taken against Mr. Brown if he's found to in fact be in violation of these various laws. Well, hockey fans from coast to coast and Newfoundland, what a game we saw played out here in the city of Brampton. Now, granted, the star attraction never got on the ice. Patrick Brown was a healthy scratch. Oh, that's too bad. I was so hoping to see Mayor Brown and his knockoff Wayne Gretzky equipment uh, skate on that ice there today, but it was not to be. And as for you, Patrick Brown, well, you know what? You thought you could put one past the old Gumper, didn't you? <laughs> Just so happens you were dealing with number one. Starting in goal, the Menzoid. For Rebel News, I'm David, the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you know that we here at Rebel News, we never bend the knee, whether it's fighting for freedom of speech in the public square or going after politicians behaving badly, but we need your help. Sometimes it's for security costs, sometimes it's for lawyer fees. So if you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com. And if you're able to, make a donation. Thank you so much.